What's up everyone? I was obviously way too tired to talk in this clip, just woke up on the island. Anyways, this is part two of our Bahamas camping adventure. If you didn't see part one, check that out. And then also, uh, we have a special hand lining sharks episode from the night before this where we caught sharks right in the afternoon or right in the evening time on the hand line we missed one or two and we were able to land one it was an awesome little video but way too much to have all in one video so that's why we split it up so make sure to go and check out those other videos after this or before this all right guys we'll continue with the video thank you Good morning guys, this is Tyler with Real Floridian Fishing and welcome to my beautiful Bahamas campground. This is day two, the morning of day two. I just woke up from my sleep in the bean bag over there, boat bean bag right on the beach inside a sleeping bag. It's probably about 65, 70 degrees right now with um, some winds and I slept like a baby, it was amazing. I woke up feeling great to a sunrise, and now I got, you know it, my trusty barbie rod. A little sandy, but, um, and an old mirror lure, because all my lures got broken off or cut off last night. But we got a good current, and there's a ton of bait held up in here. Birds diving, fish jumping. So I'm gonna see if I can't make a few fish and have some fun this morning. Fish on, fish on. I don't know what it is, it's big. It took me in a rock. Something big. Oh no. Oh, that's a big fish. Fuck, it took me in a, there's a tree out there or something. Very big fish. Could be a monster or a grouper. It took me in a rock or something. Oh no, I couldn't stop that fish. Oh, there he's out, he's out, he's out. Shit, come on, come on out, buddy. Oh, no. Damn it, I don't know what it was. He's running, he's running out. Could have, kind of a log over there or something. Oh, big fish. What are you? Oh, yeah, I'm definitely in a log.
So I'm not entirely sure what fish that was, but it sure as hell felt like a big, uh, nice size grouper, or maybe a giant mangrove snapper, maybe a kubera, and he hit that miradine and took me down in a rock or in a tree or something. So right now I got the, the line just chilling, free spooled on the stick, and I'm gonna, hopefully he'll swim out while I go get my, my new bait and pliers. Birds are still diving. I uh, just got a, a jig. It's one of the last lures I have. I packed very light for this trip, as you can see. I only have a barbie rod and a hand line. Um, so I'm gonna tie on this jig if this fish hasn't swam out and uh, get the fish. All right, broke that fish off. I got this jig. how she works. Look at this culinary expertise right here. Cooking breakfast with some sticks oh, on an island. Good. Oh, <laughs> on cue, <laughs> on cue. Sorry. Don't hit the sticks. <laughs> it's good. Oh my god, that looks so Fire feels great too. Oh wait, we need more sticks for the uh, bread? For the fire and everything. Breakfast time. Oh my god, like so good. Awesome islands like this and places that people can take advantage of and, and fish. Um, always be respectful. Silver trash from somebody else. Always pick it up um, and try and throw it away with your trash. I kind of compare it to if you have a roommate and there's never any dishes in the sink, what are you gonna do? You're gonna be more prone to washing your dishes and, and keeping it clean. If you come to an island and there's already a mess, like this is already a mess in the sink, you're gonna be way more apt to just leave in your mess and leaving all your trash. So do your best to uh, clean up all this trash if you see it and keep these places uh, pristine for our future generations so we can continue to enjoy this awesome place and this awesome fishery. So, hope that makes sense, guys. I'm gonna get back to getting some firewood and we're gonna eat our breakfast and get on the ocean and start fishing. I think we're good on the stick now. Okay. Sorry. It's all good. of birds diving out here looks like there's a rip right after this after this uh, drop off here let's see if I can't catch some fish on the barbie rod um, got to be careful in the Bahamas there's a ton of rays so I'm gonna always watch my step and shuffle your feet that's the key see how I'm shuffling my feet that way if there is a ray and he's hidden in the sand I will kick him up instead of stepping on him where you get shafted. All right guys, out here, Bahamas day two. Not ideal conditions, it's pretty windy and choppy, but the boys are getting it done. Jack just shot a nice zero mackerel, about a eight, 10 pounder maybe. And Scott's got a big old AJ over there. We're doing it. We're getting meat. Just shot that bad boy. Good size Sierra, Scotty. The conditions aren't ideal. Like I said, there's a lot of current, a lot of wind, a little choppy. So um, it's not the best time to be fishing off of, off the dive boat because you got to keep an eye on all your divers. But I'm gonna do a little bit of fishing. I just dropped down and had something big on. So let's see if I can catch up. Oh, I'm getting dumped. Oh, God. Come on, baby. Don't break off. Oh, dude, that's a nice fish. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on up. Woo -hoo. Come on. I got to get him up. I don't want him to, he's do digging down. It's like, could be a grouper. Come on. 
Oh, he's coming. Dude. I don't know, but I should have been doing this before. I was using a lure, which was like sucking ass. Yeah, now I'm using a, well, I was trying to jig yellowtails, but these fish are, are gonna eat whatever I throw. Oh my God. It's definitely a big fish. Oh, here he is. Come on, baby, what do we got? What's blue? Is it a giant trigger? Oceanic trigger? Yeah, huge oceanic trigger. No way. Yeah. Oh, that's a beast. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, they're very good to eat. Look at that. Woo! So pretty. Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I don't know if it's a fish or the bottom. Can we back up? Um... I feel like it's bottom. Cause if it's not bottom, that's a monster. <laughs> yeah, if you don't mind, back up a little bit. Oh yeah, it's bottom. Put the barbie rod away, bring out the big guns. slow day so far but Scotty just slammed this monster dog snapper Got like 15 pounder they said there's like six more on this uh, this coral head so hopefully we can get another one all right looks like we got another dog snapper Saving the day. That one's almost the same. Nice. Were you following that mutton on your drop? Or dog? No, dog. Uh. All right. What's up, guys? Um, so I don't think I did an outro or an ending to the video. So uh, right now I'm actually just going to go ahead and vacuum seal up some of the meat that I got from the trip. Um, I just want to start by saying it was an amazing experience. It was my first time crossing over to the Bahamas other than like a cruise ship or anything like that. And um, like I said before, it was a, it was really a dive trip and I was just kind of tagging along to see how it went. That's why I was fishing with the barbie rod the whole time and the hand line. Um, so anyways, I didn't get to show much of the diving or much of the fish that we got. So I'm just going to vacuum seal it up so you can see. But um, this is a beautiful yellow jack fillet. They always get big yellow jacks over there in the Bahamas really good sushi fish. Here's some of that giant dog snapper. I got some Ciro mackerel in there, uh, some other snapper and all kinds of stuff. But anyways, um, thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. I'm really trying to get my channel going so I can show more videos like this of us camping and you know what I mean? I really want to get to the point where I can do it full time and you know, just travel, go on islands and camp and fish and make awesome videos. So I'm working to get better at my editing. Drop a comment of what you thought, and if you uh, could like or share and subscribe, that would really, really help me out. So again, thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next trip. See you later.